Hello and welcome to another Planet Destiny video. Today is Zer Day. It's actually February the 6th. And I'm going to go show you what Zer has. I stayed up, and I'm really tired now. But I'll hopefully get through this video without falling asleep. Zer is located in his usual spot right over here in the tower. Plenty of people up to join me. Let's see what he has. Looks like starting out, we have the Glass House. 118, upgradable to 127 intellect. Increase melee attack speed, replenish super energy when you kill an enemy with a grenade, and blessing of light and weapons of light last longer. This is a pretty decent helm if you're looking for something with, for more group play. I actually really like it on my Titan, although Helm of Saint-14 is a little bit better. The 127 stat roll on it is pretty high. I don't recall the last time that Zer sold it, I don't remember what the stat roll was on that, but this is a pretty high stat roll. If you haven't picked this up yet, go ahead and do it. Don't touch me gauntlets, 104, upgradable to 111 discipline. The important thing here is taking damage from a melee attack makes you briefly invisible. I gotta say, these are really fun to use for certain PvE encounters, mainly they allow you to solo the first part of the raid. They're definitely fun to mess around with. If you haven't picked these up, go ahead and do it. I can't really recommend you using these all the time, as they're kind of useless in PvP, but for certain PvE encounters, they are very strong. Our favorite gloves for the Warlocks, we have our Sunbreakers, 98 upgradable to 105 intellect. Increase the duration of your solar grenade, increase reload speed with special weapons, and melee hits replenish grenade energy. These are really solid gloves, I'm actually going to go ahead and pick up a pair because I accidentally uh, dismantled my other ones. I really like them. While a lot of the other exotics all just really outweigh these, these are a nice pair of gloves if you really like zoning off certain areas with your solar grenades. Get the talent that allows you to have two grenades, you can just throw some of those down and just cord on off an entire area. The 105 stat roll on there, not as high as it could be, but it's pretty good. It's a decently high stat roll. And then everyone's favorite fusion rifle this is like the fourth time he's sold it, Plan C! Charge and equip times are very short immediately after weapon swap. It's a very fun weapon to use. I don't have one that's at 331, so I'll go ahead and pick one up as well. It's very fun to use in PvP um, if you're aware of the most recent uh, Bungie update. Fusion rifles will be receiving a nerf in the near future. Uh, their spread is essentially going to be widened, so you can't reliably hit that burst on something at the maximum range. I'll be interested to see how, how good it is after the nerf actually goes to them. It's a very solid fusion rifle, though, right now, currently, and you can really kind of use it as a primary weapon for the most part in PvP. In PvE, it's hands down just one of the best fusion rifles out there, especially for arc burn weeklies. Go ahead, pick it up if you haven't already. I got one because I didn't have one at 331. I'll go ahead and level that up. And then we have our exotic shards for seven strange coins. And this week we have exotic engrams for 23 motes of light. For upgrades, we have the Acleophage Symbiote. Maximum stat roll of 119 discipline. Not as high as one of the previous times he had it. Uh, mine is at 120. But this is honestly the best PV PvE and arguably one of the better PvP helms for gunslingers. With this stat roll on it, go ahead, pick it up. Go ahead and upgrade it if you haven't al already. Here we have the Crest of the Alpha Lupi. Revive teammates faster, spawn more orbs. The stat roll of 166 is really, really high. I I'd definitely go upgrade this this week if you haven't already. This is a pretty solid chest piece for those that like group play. If you need to be revived a lot or if you find yourself reviving people a lot, go ahead and pick this up. The strength is incredibly high on it. An insurmountable skull fort. The stat roll of 106 discipline is a little bit low on a helm. I'd probably pass this one up this week uh, for for upgrading, as well as the no backup plans. It only has a stat roll of 82 strength, which is incredibly low. Um, I'd definitely pass both of the Titan ones up this week. For warlocks, we have Skull of Dire Amkara. 101 intellect. It's a decent stat roll on there. It's actually actually kind of low. I think the maximum's like 127, but it's it's okay. If you, I believe he's offered this upgrade in the past with better stat rolls, so I'd probably just wait out to get a better stat roll this week. And then Light Beyond Nemesis again, 107. Not an amazing stat roll on it. I'd also probably wait because that's not a very good 
it's, it's okay, but it could be a lot better. For weapons, we have Hard Light, Suros Regime, Mita Multi-Tool, Thorn, Icebreaker, and Super Good Advice. Uh, of the ones that he has listed here, if you haven't upgraded an Icebreaker yet, go ahead and do that. And then for Curios, we have the Hand Cannon Telemetries, Shotgun Telemetries, Rocket Launcher Telemetries, Plasma Drive, and Void Drive. Once again, he has not sold heavy ammo for like the fourth or fifth week in a row, and I'm pretty much done with uh, heavy ammo. <laughs> I don't feel like buying anymore, so next time Zer decides to actually sell it, I'll probably buy all that he has, so no one else can ever buy any. Kind of a disappointing week this week. Sorry about that, guys. Hopefully next week he has something better. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.